Hey, laddies, it's me, the official voice of Demo Man from Team Fortress 2. Want to see something cool? Check this out. <laughs> so now you're probably wondering how I made this thing. Well, in order to make a sticky launcher, I first had to see if there are any real life examples I could go off of. And it turns out there is. Let me show you. You see, in the 1940s, during World War II, the British were developing a weapon called Number 7 Grenade MK2, or simply put, a sticky grenade, and it was meant to be used as an anti-tank weapon. How it would work is that a soldier would pull a pin off the grenade, which would activate the fuse, and at the same time, pull off its protective casing, which revealed the sticky surface underneath. Then, with the fuse activated and the sticky surface uncovered, the soldier would run up to a tank, stick it on, and run back to take cover until eventually... This weapon did have its flaws though. For example, there was risk of having the grenade stick to your pants while wanting back to throw it, which actually happened to a guy in training. Luckily for him, somebody ripped off his pants for him. But um, yeah, the only reason why I brought up this whole World War II grenade thing was to see how they actually made it stick to services. Turns out they used an adhesive substance called bird lime, which is used in a lot of places for trapping birds, and it's actually illegal since you're not allowed to do that in a lot of places. This whole World War II sticky grenade example isn't very useful for us after all, since that was the main thing I was looking for. But um, you know what, let's, let's just figure out how to make the stickies later and just focus on building the prop for now. Now, I've been getting a lot of comments asking me how I build my cargo props, and I follow a process that's pretty simple and can be applied to most props you want to build, so let me show it to you real quick. Alright, now let's say you want to build a sticky launcher out of cardboard. The trick is to break it up into sections, focus on one part, then build off of that. For example, I started out with making the handle. I took a photo of the sticky launcher from the internet, I enlarged it to how big I think it would be by using my hand as a reference for the handle. Then I simply traced it on paper and used that paper to cut a handle out of cardboard. Then added some details to it. Repeat this process for the other sections using a photo to reference its shape and size. Get the basic shape, then add details later on. It may take you some practice, but that's just a general guideline how I built this prop. Anyway, let's move on to how I made the launching mechanism. Now for this, I went down a YouTube rabbit hole. There are a bunch of these videos on YouTube that show you how to build these amazingly detailed cardboard weapons that have all sorts of cool working mechanisms in them. For example, take a look at this blowback pistol. This was made using nothing but cardboard, wooden sticks, and rubber bands. Or the shell edition shotgun made out of cardboard and some springs that can actually launch projectiles. Seeing all this made me think that I could use one of these mechanisms to make a launcher of my own to incorporate into the sticky launcher. So I went ahead and made a slingshot type mechanism inspired by all the cardboard videos I watched. However, I encountered a pretty big problem right away, and that's that it was barely able to launch something heavier than a ping pong ball. Not only that, but they need to be launched with enough force so that the projectiles will actually be able to stick to surfaces. Of course, we need to figure out how they're going to stick to a surface in the first place, but let's just focus on one thing at a time. I need to come up with something that can generate more force, and one thing that looked promising was actually coil guns, which basically just use magnets to launch things. And it turns out, coil guns can be pretty powerful, so they can definitely provide the force we need for this project. But there's just one problem. They require a lot of voltage and large electronic components that are susceptible to blowing up, and I'm a noob right now when it comes to electronics, so I really don't feel like messing with that stuff. I need to find another way to launch projectiles, and after doing some research, I finally came to a viable solution, and that solution is alcohol. Now I'm not talking about the type you drink, I'm talking about isopropyl alcohol, the type used as a disinfectant. It turns out it's pretty flammable, and when you take something like a water bottle, fill it with some isopropyl alcohol, shake it up, and dump it all out, you're left with some pretty flammable gas that can be used as fuel to launch the water bottle. However, as a word of caution, I do not recommend messing around with isopropyl alcohol. But if you're going to do it anyway, I'll link some YouTube videos on how you can safely make an alcohol can in, in the description. Anyway, with this knowledge, I was able to take apart a lighter, extend the wires, and attach it to the prop to serve as our ignition. I went ahead and tested it with some bottles, and it worked great. It launches the water bottle with some good force. But in order to know if it is truly enough force, we have to test it with an adhesive substance. Something that's strong enough to hold it to a wall. And after doing some research, rat trap glue came to be a viable option. I mean, the stuff seems pretty sticky. I ended up going with insect glue instead, which seemed like it would work just as well. But to test it out, I put it on a bottle and threw it at the wall, which worked great. And there we go. We have our complete sticky launcher. I ended up moving the igniter forward a bit more just so that it's easier to load the bottle in. Also, I made this distance tracking circuit that tells you whether or not you're in range just for the extra looks. Although I settled for this to be the final product, it was actually a lot of quick content and instead of letting it go to waste, I thought I might as well tell you about it. Originally, I planned for the sticky launcher to launch multiple projectiles one after the other by using a gear and having a revolver-like mechanism to line up the projectiles and shoot them. And I actually built a prototype out of PVC pipe. However, after multiple attempts, it was not able to fire until I tested it out with a bottle and it was finally able to work. Another thing that was cut was actually an explosion effect. 
I had built this whole circuit that would wirelessly detonate this mini explosion effect, but it didn't turn out too well. I ran into a whole lot of problems when trying to get it to work, but it was taking too long and hadn't uploaded in a while, so I just wanted to get a video out, and yeah. And that's it. Goodbye.